Stephen has brought the uh, a a cardiac patient the chest to show the chest compression. If you've ever been to or in a class where the uh, where the uh, where, where you you're learning CPR. That's right, it's uh, a CPR mannequin. So it's a CPR mannequin that we have here, and uh, he is in the he's in he's in bad shape. He's really not in good shape. So you have an AED machine here too, but we're going to do chest compressions first. That's right. I've gotten down. And, uh, hey, he's not responding, and I'm tapping on him. I'm trying to stimulate him to wake up, and I've noticed that he's not breathing normally. So I'm calling for help. Maybe I'm taking my phone out of my pocket, calling 911, putting it on speaker. And I've already been educated that this person's unresponsive and not breathing normally, so I'm going to start chest compressions. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hands and I'm going to put them right between the nipple line, okay, right on the sternum. And I'm going to then lock my elbows, lean over the person's body, and I'm going to push down about two inches, allow the chest to come all the way back up. And I'm doing this at a rate of about 100 to 120 times a minute. So that's all great to hear. But really, it's just the tempo. It's just doing it a few times, and you understand what it is. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to practice for you. And what you, can't, what you can't see is that I'm going down at least two inches, and I'm keeping that, that, that tempo, the bump, 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 bump. Staying alive. Staying alive. <laughs> I didn't say it. I didn't no, say it. No, <laughs> we're on the radio, and we pay for the ability to say that. But, yes, I understand that you can't use that in the yeah. training. <laughs> That's a, But it's we the tempo because yeah. what you want to do is push deep enough to compress the heart frequently enough that you're generating some form of pressure, that you're trying to mimic the body's blood pressure. That's what you're trying to do. You want to get blood flow so Push down hard enough to get blood flow to the brain, to the kidneys, back to the heart. That's what matters. And so I've started chest compressions. I'm doing compressions. I'm calling for help. I'm calling for bystanders. Go get an AED. You know what an AED is because you've listened to this radio show. And so an AED is an automated external defibrillator. And it's a device. It's just a machine. They bring it to you. And I just took it out of the packaging. And guess what? The nice thing is the moment you turn it on, it tells you exactly what to do. You could never have seen this before in your entire life. Somebody hands it to you, you open it up, and it's going to tell you what to do. I'm going to turn it on for you. Remove clothes from patient's chest. And you can see that it starts telling you prompts. And what it's just told me to do is to expose the patient's chest wall because I'm going to have to put pads on. And I'm going to look at these pads, and it has pictures. This pad tells me to put it on the left lower chest wall. Okay, that's at the base uh, of the, uh, at the apex of the heart. The other one says to put in the right upper chest wall. And I just put it on there just where the sticker shows me. And guess what I do then? I just listen to this machine. It's going to tell me exactly what to do. It'll tell me to stop, what, not touch the patient so it can listen to the heart rhythm, so it can interpret that. And guess what? It'll tell you to shock. It listens, it, it will interpret the heart's rhythm and it'll shock if needed. It will not hurt a person if they're alive. It, it will only shock certain rhythms, and so that's, that's really good.